Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you reach the end of a page in Word, it will insert an automatic page break. Sometimes these automatic page breaks occur in places that you would rather not have them be. They may leave one sentence on a second page orphaned from the rest of the paragraph. Another situation could be when the title begins at the bottom of one page and the supporting text appears at the top of the next page. Now, you cannot delete the automatic page breaks in Word. Instead, what you must do is insert a manual page break at a point in the page prior to the occurrence of the automatic page break. Now, inserting manual page breaks isn't difficult. Just click into the document at the place where you'd like the next page of the document to begin, hold down Control on your keyboard, and press Enter. That will move everything after that point to the top of the next page. Another option is you could instead click where you want to insert a manual page break and choose insert and then break from the menu bar. Here you could choose the page break option and then just simply click OK. Now a section break is much like a page break but it breaks up sections of your document and at that point each section could be independently set with different margins or different page layouts like portrait versus landscape printing. Now there are three types of section breaks that you can insert. They are next page, continuous, odd page, and even page. So for example, let's say that we wanted to take this text, push it to the next page, and print it in landscape view. To insert a break that is a section break, Click where you'd like to place the break, choose insert from the menu bar, and choose the break command. In the section break types, you can choose next page, which is the same as a page break, but also creates two separate sections of the document. Continuous inserts a break, but continues the next section on the same page. Or even page, or odd page, which places a break and then continues the text on the next odd or even numbered page. And that might be helpful for inserting section breaks into double-sided, double, double printed documents. So if I wanted to, I could choose, let's say, a next page section break and then click OK. Now at this point, we have two different sections. So you can see down here in my status bar, I'm currently in section two. If I'm in that section, I could then change anything like the page setup. So if I went to File and Page Setup, I could choose, let's say, Landscape here and click OK. I'm going to show you how that would print in Print Preview. So if I went to File and Print Preview, you can see this page would print Landscape, whereas the two pages before it would print in portrait. So a lot of times you might do this if you had two pages of text and then maybe a graph you wanted to show in a landscape page. Now one other thing to note is that if you click the non-printing characters button in the standard toolbar, you'll see that a manual page break or a section break is defined by the words page break or section break you can easily delete the manual breaks that you've entered, just as you would any other character. To do that, just simply click on the page break character, and then press delete on your keyboard. And then when you're finished, you can click the show hide non-printing characters to hide those non-printing characters again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.